I don't get much time to come to events, but I definitely wanted to come to this one because I'm very interested in the role of business in the North East in leading the way, mindset for the future. And this event was just all about that, so it was fantastic. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the future. We really try to look to see what we think is starting to happen as we move into the future uh, and start to think about how some of these factors affect the way that we live our lives, the way that we run our businesses, the way that they impact society. And I don't think this is about identifying one future outcome. It's about looking at the things that we can learn about the potential future from the signals and maybe identifying a number of different plausible futures. Because actually what that then allows us to do is to develop flexible and resilient strategies in our business now so that when we come to a turn point as our businesses develop, we can change direction of the business very easily. Steve's session has been absolutely fantastic. Certainly on, on the table that I was on, there was a huge amount of discussion. There's a huge um, appreciation of where technology is taking us. Something I've taken away today is resilience and agility. We can't predict the future, but we can have a foresight and we need to keep looking up. So rather than just doing our day-to-day -day businesses, but looking up and seeing what's coming in the future. I think up till now, sustainability has kind of been a nice to do. It's great for PR. I think increasingly in the future, it will be a license to operate. Younger generations feel much more of an affinity against brands that pay attention to some of these values. So I think it is going to become increasingly important um, as a license to do business. Uber and Airbnb are the often used examples of how we can deploy technology. I think what's really interesting about these is their start point, a bit like Apple, wasn't actually about the technology, it was actually about understanding what the consumer wanted. So start with the customer and the consumer in mind, look to see what the technological solutions are to deliver that value and then build a business model around it. These companies, not only do they find an innovative way to bring new value to market, new value to consumers very quickly using existing technology, they now are looking at how some of these new technologies can grow and change their business into the future. And a lot of what I see across a number of different sectors is people that already exist in the sector complaining that the new people who have found a new way to deliver value to clients are not subject to the same regulations. Steve tasked us in groups to think about a handful of factors that might help future-proof our organisations. It's really good to be able to see what do I want my organisation to look like and it's just those reminders of the bigger picture. Entrepreneurs Forum do fantastic sessions and this one today particularly resonated, um, you know, the balance between where is technology going, we're seeing a huge amount of digital businesses cropping up in, in the Tees Valley particularly and around the region, which is fantastic, but how do we merge those two elements, people and technology, so it's always having the forefront of what's our vision, mission and strategy of, of what we're doing and how can technology help us get there. And I think foresight is one of those skills that people kind of have heard about, but they don't really understand what it means. It's actually about trying to make sense of the signals that we're seeing that point to the future, thinking about a range of plausible outcomes that they may deliver, but making sure they move back to where we are now so they're connected with the present. What's really important to me is to always have at the, at the heart of when we think about how things are changing, that actually what we face isn't a technological challenge, it's actually a societal challenge, and it's particularly a challenge about our mindsets, about our leadership, and how we develop people to try to make sense of the changes that we're starting to see.